Good morning everybody, my name is James Cagle. Uh, we are going to be creating a video today, we're going to be combining two videos. We're going to be shrinking a volume and then we're going to be creating a uh, simple volume. Uh, we're doing it within the uh, Windows Server 2008 R2 model and we have it installed on VMware on my computer. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and open the disk manager and snap in that we just created in our last video. So I'm going to come down here, we're going to come up to administrative tools. Actually, we just go like that. Bam. Okay, so we open that. Okay. Bam. We're gonna go like this. Now, <clears throat> over here, we should be getting a list of everything that we have. All right. So what we can do is that we can on this right here we can right click on this and we can choose to shrink it okay so we're gonna right click above it and we're gonna go shrink volume alright so so how much do we want to shrink it by so eh, we'll, we'll choose whatever it is they have there which wasn't very much and we click shrink and after here, sometimes it takes up to a couple of minutes, and then it'll it'll be done. Uh, if it starts to take too long, I'll just go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and uh, pause the video. I'll go ahead and do that for time's sake. Okay, so now what we're gonna do? We're gonna come on over here. And what we're gonna see there? So just it just got shrunk by that much okay which is about you know half a gig or whatever it comes out to be okay so we have that here's the disk management um, MMC that we created we, we opened it up alright so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna click on the unallocated space right here and we're gonna do new simple volume click next we'll click next so what drive letter do you want to mount it with the empty MTFS folder? Do you want to give it an actual drive letter? It's kind of up to you. It depends on what you're wanting to do. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use a default drive letter of F. We're going to keep it there. All right. So, and we definitely want it to be NTFS. We don't want FAT or FAT32. Those are file systems that are just totally outdated and there's just no reason to really have them. Okay. We want to perform a quick format, enable file and folder compression. You know, sometimes that's good. You know, depending on what you're using it for. Like on my home computer, I shrank. I did this, and I created a place where I could back do all my daily backups in. So, so we're going to use the NTFS, all right? And we're going to use the default. All right, we're going to go select that. We're going to go bam. All right, then it takes just a few seconds for something this small. It ought to go pretty quick, and it's basically there's not too much left to do. Um, dun, 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 dun. All righty, so it's about 50% done. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and call it. All righty. So that's how you, you, you shrink a volume. Remember how we went and we right clicked above it. We sh uh, chose to shrink the volume. Then we chose the amount to shrink it by. Then we came on over. We right clicked on the bl uh, the black bar. And then we did a uh, new simple volume. And then we chose to give it a you know, drive letter of F. And then the NTFS instead of the FAT or FAT32. Um, we chose not to do a quick format on it. And uh, so there we go. That's how you do it, guys. Thank you for watching.